What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. We are talking about AppBox 8. This is the latest version of AppBox. It is compatible, of course, with iOS 8. And AppBox, its whole deal is to allow you to get more out of the out of the lock screen, basically. So you can lock your device and access AppBox just by swiping over like that. Here's your AppBox. It has several apps here configured. And you can launch apps directly from AppBox without even unlocking your device. So I launched the settings app. If I press the home button here, it goes right back to the lock screen. I can swipe over again, get back to AppBox, launch the notes app, view my notes. Hi, awesome viewers. Yes, that was planned. Uh, so you can hit the uh, the home button again to exit out of the notes app. You can swipe over again. You can launch the music app or I can tap and hold on the music app to launch the plugin for the playlist and access my playlist directly uh, from the lock screen as well. Or you could tap and hold on the notes app and access the plugin for composing a quick note. Uh, so it doesn't end there. The app box has lots of features that you can take advantage of to do some really cool things. Now the auto unlock option is an option that allows you to launch the apps directly from your app box without unlocking your device, without manually inserting a passcode. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll go into the auto unlock section, put in your current passcode under the enable auto unlock a uh, little preference there in the switch, make sure that's on. And then whenever you tap an app in your app box, it will automa automatically launch uh, because it has your passcode. Now, this is only for launching the apps in your app box. You actually can't get back to the home screen or anything like that because when you press the home button, it locks your device again. If you would prefer to fully unlock your device, you can put your passcode in under the fully unlocked device and enable that switch. And then there's also auto unlock apps. So if you don't want all of your apps in app box to auto unlock, you can specify them here. Um, you can basically say, okay, I want all these apps to auto unlock, but I don't want calculator to unlock and I don't want one password to unlock. Well, calculator is fine, but one password is definitely one you would probably prefer to keep locked uh, just because it has so much sensitive information. So I'm going to lock my device again. I'm going to swipe over. Of course, I can launch the calculator. No problem, right? But what happens when I try to launch the one password? Well, there you go. It prompts me for my passcode. So that is a form of security. Uh, to prevent you know people from going in and unlocking your device and getting to your your sensitive information uh, so if you go into the app section here you can see all of the apps we have currently enabled and if you add an app there it just basically dynamically updates so I'm gonna add two additional apps here I'm gonna lock my device swipe over and then you can see everything dynamically updates real nice and of course I can rearrange so I can put alien blue at the top if I want to do that and we'll see it appear as the first app in the upper left hand corner there you go um, so it's really simple jailbreak tweak as far as configuring you don't have to do a bunch of resprings everything is pretty dynamic it's really nice the only thing about this is that there's just so much involved with app box there's so many different features that you can take advantage of it gets a little convoluted a little confusing because there's just so so many things you can do with it you can adjust the apps per row for instance if I want to have four apps per row instead of two I can do that and there you go, there's that. Um, you can also adjust the apps per row while in landscape mode. You can enable or disable badges, labels, enable round icons, so I can do that. And you can see the rounded icons, just like that. It looks pretty nice, right? Um, and there's op opacity, there's size, so you can adjust the size of those icons if you wanna do that. If you think they're too big, you can make them smaller, like that. Uh, and then you can enable the the long hold for plug-in apps only, so you can use that long hold on, on the apps to enable or to access plugins like that quick note plugin that we had there, etc. And then there's app views so you can select the actual plugins that are available. So you have playlist, contacts, social, notes. Um, there's settings for the contacts. Lots of stuff here. Uh, lock screen items so you can really customize the look of the lock screen. If you want to turn off those grabbers, you want to turn off the camera grabber, the date view, slide to unlock. Uh, you can even have custom text in there if you want to do that. So it's just lots and lots of options, lots of things to configure for AppBox for iOS 8. But at its core, it is basically a lock screen launcher that allows you to access apps without having to put in your passcode, allows you quick access to some of your favorite apps. And for that reason, I think this is a really good jailbreak tweak to have. Um, it is $1.50 on the Big Boss repo, and I do highly recommend it. It is a, a really well done tweak for those of you who like to launch apps 
directly from the lock screen. You don't want to have to worry about inserting the passcode every time you want to unlock. Um, obviously, if you use Touch ID, that's less of a problem, but, but it's still nice to have quick access to some of your favorite apps right there on the fly from your home screen. So again, it is called AppBox 8. It is available right now on the Big Boss repo for $1.50. Let me know what you guys think about AppBox 8 down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.